Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. And as of today, we know that FSR 3 is available for all GPUs. I'm telling you, it, it, is, it is available for all GPUs. You can use them on Intel, Nvidia or uh, AMD GPUs, but all the older G AMD and Nvidia GPUs can be used as well. So you can use it on a 5000 series, 6000 series and like they said, even older than that, so possibly even on the Vega 56 or 64 and cards like the 570 and 580, and that is huge. On top of that, AMD also told us that they are working to implement fluid motion, so basically the FSR3 fake frames or frame generation on all, all games. So they, they are trying and they, they kind of they kind of integrated it already, for example, in Lies of P, they integrated it on the Radeon software and they are releasing it on quarter one of 2024. So in some months, you'll most likely, having an AMD card, you'll be able to use frame generation in all the X11 and the X12 titles. And that is insane. But well, let's watch the part of the live stream that I made where you can see it all in the event, which is insane. But before, Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! And for as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer, even if your hardware isn't prepared. And if you don't play that much, well, you can just use the hourly system for as little as 0.35 Canadian dollars. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. Triple the performance. Well. And any of you guys checked out Immortals of Avium? Just came out. We've got FSR 3 integrated into Immortals of Avium as well. And you can expect both for Spoken and Immortals of Avium patches coming out Where? early fall. Just a few more weeks ahead, you're going to okay. see these uh, patches come out and you'll be able to take advantage of these massive frame rate games. Some more weeks, okay. Could be worse, could be worse. You probably want it in more than just two games, right? I've been, I've been looking at the new Cyberpunk expansion, Phantom Liberty, and You want FSR 3 in it? Absolutely. Okay. Space Marine you got as well? It. FSR 3 for you. you got <laughs> <it>. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. So, let's see Cyberpunk. We've already got we've already got a bunch of games coming out with committed support for FSR3. So just check well, the a few more weeks me. if we Over we're talking about two or three weeks, it isn't that to bad actually. FSR3 in it. And beyond these 12 games, we've got a bunch of game developers Immortals as well, of is, is actually Unreal nice. Engine. It's just terribly it's put optimized. A plug -in, in Unreal Engine for FSR3 and once you do that, you're going to get an absolute ton of games that are going to be integrating FSR3. Okay, so they are working with these producers. FSR3 support to grow very rapidly from here, just like FSR1 and FSR2 did. Okay, that well, sounds at least that. Fantastic. At least that. I think we're already through the, all the software stuff, right? Yeah, FSR3 oh, is available almost. for the 6,000, 5,000, oh, and oh, even older cards. For everybody, yeah. So, FSR3 is pretty cool, obviously, right? But so we're going to put it in 10, 15, 20, 50 games. You know, our competitor has their frame generation in like 50 games or so. Wouldn't you like fluid motion frames in thousands of games? Oh, they'll put the fluid motion on Radeon software. How now, <laughs> every DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game you play, we can double and triple your frame rate. Wouldn't now you like this, that? now this is technology. What the hell? Now this I yeah, want to see. Yeah, we would too. So we asked our engineers if they can figure out a magical way of doing that, because nobody's been able to do it. Every frame generation technology right now requires integration into the game, and that limits how many games you can launch out there with frame now generation. Now this, this will be but cool in the all games at AMD are pretty special. with Radeon software. And they figured out a way Damn. to put fluid motion frames into HyperRx. And that means pretty much any DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 game running the AMD Adrenaline HyperRx software what? is going to get the benefits of fluid motion frames, frame interpolation and generation. Awesome. What? Older graphic cards is the big win. Thanks for the donation, by the way. Damn. This so is it's huge. Already working. We've got it working in our labs. It looks absolutely incredible. It's going to be launching to the public by Q1. So just a few more months ahead. By Q1, we'll be introducing that in uh, the Adrenaline Driver with HyperRx. Okay, but 
And stay tuned to AMD News to learn more about it. All right, guys, that's going to be unbelievable. There's no other solution out there like it. You're going to get massive frame rate improvements okay. with fluid motion. Okay, it is frame. still some months away. Fantastic. But awesome. at least they okay. told us that they I will do this. I have thing, some more things in mind that we can nice. chat about. But uh, I'd invite Scott back on the stage for that. No, 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 no. It won't use uh, RSR. has nothing to do with it. These, these are generated frames. RSR uses Fidelity so, FX Super cards, Resolution 1, which is spatial upscaling, which sucks. And tech, amazing, but it we're going to talk about Starfield, Yeah, a few more right? months, we're it says Q1 of the year. 2024, How beginning. How good are the cards on Starfield? <laughs> well, what's been, what's been great is we've been working with our friends at Bethesda now for many, many months, optimizing Starfield, not only across AMD Radeon GPUs, but AMD Ryzen CPUs. And I can't tell you the scores yet, but what I would tell you is that these cards are able to run Starfield exceptionally smooth at 1440. AMD actually so surprised me here. Copy of Starfield? And well, guys, that's basically it. Free for all GPUs, and now they're trying to aim at... at basically, they're trying to aim at, at all games as well. If they can indeed implement it on the Radeon software and make it work properly, it will be huge and it will give a lot of value to the AMD GPUs. And although they took lots of time to, to implement FSR 3, I believe that it was because of that. They were trying to make it work on all GPUs like they did with FSR 1 and FSR 2. And most likely they were trying to, well, to bring that option of using of using the, the fluid motion, let's say that, the frame generation inside the HyperRx. And that's what took them more time than it should. Still great news. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this. If AMD actually won with this, if AMD gained more value with this or if they are absolutely nothing against Nvidia. Let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Thank you, kind sir.